to fall online. We love to share what we believe according to God's word. And today is our third Sunday soon. We raise two new favorites. Today's flowers are given by Mama Rule in memory of the Son of Amen. And Ray Pies in honor of Shara's birthday, which will be Tuesday. Looking ahead, our annual church picnic is scheduled for August. Mark the calendars now for the sixth Sunday celebration on August 30th. The sign of sheep is on the side of the board. The church will provide the burgers and the hot dogs and help us by bringing a side dish for dessert. Call Gail with any questions. Now, I'm not sure if this is right, Gail, but is it going to be inside? Yes, yeah, inside. It's inside. You can sit outside if you want, but everything will be inside. Yeah, inside. Okay. Amen. There's less flies inside. If you are able, please stand and join me in the call to worship. Bless the Lord my soul. With all my being, I bless his holy name. Bless the Lord my soul and forgive none of his benefits. He pardons all my wrongdoings and he heals all my guilt. He satisfies me with all good in the time of life, and my youth is renewed like an eagle's. Bless the Lord, my soul, with all my being, I bless his holy name. Amen. All right, you may be seated. How did you get this? All right, let's see if we've got uh, some song choices here. I'll get myself organized here. I'm dangerous. All right, you guys on the east side, what have you got here? What have you got? Choices for songs. We're going to sing the first verse. Okay, go ahead, Doug. Is that Maureen? Yeah. Go ahead. 349. I don't even have to look at that one. And that's my wife's favorite. And that was Shark's request too. Oh, Shark's request too from online? Okay, in the garden, 349. Next one. Okay, Jim, go ahead. 314. 314. Is that blessed? Assurance? Yes. Yeah. Okay. This is starting to scare me when I know what the, uh, <laughs> the numbers are. Blessed assurance. You're so good to take a request. You, Vivian? 216, Faith of Our Fathers. 216, Faith of Our Fathers. Right, one more from you guys. One more. Got a bonus one? 42. Okay, we've got uh, 42. Which one is that? All things bright and beautiful. All things bright and beautiful. Here, I'll sell your hand too, I believe. That's all right. That's birthday girl. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Well, what's yours just in case we go quickly? 81. 81. What is that? Let's just praise the Lord. Let's just praise the Lord. Okay. All right. We'll see how we do with this. Let's do the first one. It is 349. 349. In the garden. Preference on the verse? You like them all? Okay. Okay. We'll go with the first verse then. First verse will be our default verse. <laughs> All right, go ahead. Genesis is one of my favorites as well. 
number two, our, our departed friend Joyce Cutsler. She loved this song too. So this is one of her favorites. Last assurance, Jesus is mine. Choice of the verses, my dear. Do you have a preference for a verse? No. Verse is fine. Verse is fine. Okay.
of their favorites on the west side. Let's get a word of praise. Oh, I think we've got several here, okay. An eager, eager bunch. Amen. Praise the Lord, there he is standing in the house. Amen. For those who haven't heard, Larry had a stroke, and he spent the last week or so, five days, in the VA hospital with Jesse, Jesse Brown. So and he's back home. He's doing doing well. And we just we just praise God for that. And Gail, Gail's probably loud enough without the microphone, but uh, we'll, we'll sneak over here so all of our who had Jan. Well, I just wanted to thank all the ladies that came out to our meeting on last Thursday. It was a great time. We had a delicious meal. And we got a lot of things accomplished for this coming year. Amen. Hey, man, it was a real good meeting. I, I, they fed me too, so you can. Uh, it was really nice. And so I just sit in the back row, and she all these people I spent too many months back there all by myself. So I'm happy to be back. Amen. Hey, Amen. Hey, Thank you, Gail. All right. Anybody else on this side or, or either side? Anybody else? It's always good to be in God's house and we thank you for your testimonies and we have been praying for Larry. I talked with, uh, we talked a little bit more in her time uh, coming up. I talked to Roy Rule at left yesterday. Roy, he said he'd be watched today, so good to see you today, Roy. Good talking with you yesterday, buddy. And uh, we're thankful for him and also we'll be praying for uh, Steve Becker. I guess he's been having some heart issues. Let's remember Steve on our prayer and that uh, that time comes as well. All right. Any other testimonies? Testimonies. All right. Amen. All right. Let's see. What do you guys got for songs then? Yes. The invocation. Thank you, Bonnie. Bonnie always keeps me straight. We've got to stand up to the invocation, then we'll take. I still got out of work, didn't I? <laughs> I'm sorry, Brian. I don't know why she goes out of Go ahead. Okay, let there be no gap between us and Christ. But it really stands because it is cemented together. Let us not and merely keep hold of Christ, but let us cleave to him by our works. We are body. He is the foundation, we are the building. He is the shepherd, we are the sheep. He is the way, we walk in it. Oh, thank you, Brian. She's got me back on the track. Back on the track. Okay, you may be seated. What do you guys have to have for this side for some, uh, some good song choices? Chris? 251. 251. I feel I should know it. should know that. The old rugged cross. That's it. That's it. That was going to be my guess. Alan? 248. 248. I feel like you should know that one too. Showers of blessings. Shower. Oh boy, that's appropriate. Showers of blessings. Anyway, okay. Who else? Who else? We need a few more. You got, Kathy, you got something online? I'm online. 278. 278, Amazing Grace. Okay. Right, who else? Who else? Come on, Gloria. I know you got them. You just, just, just. I'm the one. I'm the one. She's picking that up for normal rule, right? Okay. I'm great that art, number one. And uh, one more from anybody. One more from anybody anywhere. 28. 28. That is great as I faithfulness, right? All right. Good deal. These are some good choices, everybody. 251 will be our first, the first verse of the old rugged cross.
among the sheep here, there shall be showers of blessings. Favorite verse? Oh, I like the first one. You like the first one? Okay. First verse, 248. <laughs>
Which one? Don? Uh, how about happy birthday from my son Don to his mother? Happy birthday from your son Don to his mother. I think they can rob your arms then. And uh, this is Darvis 39th, too, huh? 89 and old. 89 and old. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Well, let's sing happy birthday to Norma. All right.
e io lo ho fatto con Christ. Let me never be ashamed. Deliver me in your righteousness. Now do not fear to me. Deliver me speedily. Be my rock of refuge. Be fortress of defense to save me. For you are my rock and my fortress. Therefore, for your name's sake, lead me and guide me. Pull me out of the net which they have secretly laid for me. For you are my sin. Into your hand I commit my sin. You have redeemed me from what God has done. Amen. 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 I see Mark feverishly working on the uh, the battery insertion. Thank you. This is one of those moments on TV where they cut away, they go technical difficulties, you know, they got that little pattern thing on the TV. So we unfortunately on Facebook we don't have that. So bear with us. Thank you, sir. This day, whom you will serve. 
I think we're at that crossroads again with America. We've probably been at that crossroads for a while, but a decision has to be made. God will only put up with foolishness so long. I remember my dad saying that to me one, one time. I forget exactly what it was that I was doing. But uh, he got very stern with me. You were all familiar with the mom book, right? The mom book. But sometimes when you get the dad book, you know that that can, uh, that's pretty powerful stuff too. But the phrase that he used, you know, like some, I'm tired of this foolishness. Of this foolishness. Of this nonsense. I'm tired of it. So something's going to happen here. And that, I think that's the circumstance we find ourselves with God as a nation where I mean, he, he, he's going to be tired of this nonsense, this foolishness that you know, we, we, we see. You know, well, we can do this and we can do whatever we want. God will fall our nose in here. And there's nothing you can do about it. Contrary from the part of God. He is still on the throne. He can still do whatever He wants you know, with us, to us, about it, and let it happen. But He loves us. He wants to deliver us. He wants to be our hope. He wants to be our refuge. I'm reminded when, uh, when my kids were small, when there was something... You know, something new or something fearful or, or even if they were introduced and you know, getting introduced to a new person they could have even been in church you know, I, I remember many times especially the youngest, Melanie uh, she'd be right here behind, dad, behind daddy's leg if there was something something new or something I'm going to be right, right there behind daddy's leg and each one of us has even had our kids or we, we've had circumstances where they're hiding behind us because we are the place of safety as the adult, as the parent, as the one in charge. They're looking to us for safety and for hope. But God wants us <clears throat> to feel free to do that with Him, to hide behind His leg because He is our hope. He is the one that's in control. He's the one that's governing everything. Everything is going on. He wants us to know that He is there to protect us. That there's a safe place. There's a refuge in Him. Now, we as adults, sometimes we choose different things, different places to feel secure. We know that we can go to God, but we feel sometimes our home is, is a place of safety and refuge. Or even a, it could be a favorite hobby that we have. Something where we find peace in our soul when we're doing it. But in all of this, God wants us to know that He's there and He's available. In this psalm that Bonnie read the first few, uh, first five or six verses for us, um, David is praying to God as he starts out. He says, oh, in Thee, O Lord, do I put my trust. He's making a statement there in his prayer. I, I'm putting my trust in You, O Lord. Let it never be ashamed and deliver me in your righteousness. He's putting his trust in the one who can provide him with refuge. He's putting his hope in the one who has met him at the point of his needs before. The devotion that we gave to the, to the ladies group on Thursday was one that I had posted to the church Facebook page several months back. And uh, Alice astutely remembered it. must have really made an impression upon her. But it, the title of it was Knowing God. And we, we know God by being about God. God. I use the example with my wife. You know that she knows what I like to drink because we've got eight years of marriage together. And uh, she knows I like lemonade. me. There's a few other things I like, but give it a choice. It's lemonade. And there's other things, you know. I know that she likes <clears throat> certain things. We've got a kitchen, we've got a kitchen table, we've got a dining room table, and uh, I know I have the uh, I like to go sit at the, the dining room table and study sometimes. And, and I know, don't tell her that I know. But uh, I know that if I leave stuff on the dining room table. It bugs her. <laughs> I see.
you know, I'm getting bored now. <laughs> and it bugs her. So, you know, I, I've learned that it bugs her. And uh, contrary to popular belief, I'm a dummy. I don't like the bugger. So I do my best. If I put something on that table, when I'm done, I slide the chair back in, I pick that stuff up, I put it back where it's supposed to be on my desk or wherever, because I know she likes it a certain way. And I want to do that for her. We should be the same way with God, shouldn't we? We should get to know Him as we're telling the ladies. We should get to know what He wants for our lives, how He wants to bless us, how He wants to be close to us, how He wants to be our place of refuge. He wants that for us. He wants that for us. David found the Lord to be faithful and declared His, his steadfast love for Him in verse 5. Because of his deep level of trust, David is able to beg the Lord, just literally beg the Lord for deliverance. I mean, he knew people were after him. He knew that his name was being slandered and dragged through the mud and that, that Saul just wanted him dead and had commissioned, commissioned his army to do as much. David begged God, save me, deliver me. Come quickly to help me, Lord. These verses say, as David's enemies would make fun of him and slander his name, they would return to God for refuge. Now, the tone of this psalm makes a dramatic shift from the verses that Bonnie read for us. In the latter part of the, the chapter, in say verses 19 through the end, 19 through 24, which is the end of the chapter. Changes dramatically. David's prayer has been heard. Isn't it great when you know that you've prayed something, you prayed for someone about something, a certain situation, and you know that God has heard you. It may not even always go exactly the way we had hoped or the way that we wanted, but you know, you feel in your heart because the Spirit has given you the assurance that God has heard you. And that's where David said in his last six verses of this chapter 31 of Psalm. He says, Lord, I know you heard me. I know that you met me at the point of my need. I know that I'm secure in you as my refuge. You're in, in the shelter of your presence. He says in verse 20, you hide them and me from all the human intrigues. In the shelter of your presence. This deliverance that David acknowledges. <clears throat> in this deliverance, he invites everybody. He invites you, he invites me. As we read this, to share in his victory a refuge in the Lord. He wants us to know, as under the Spirit's leadership, writing the psalm, that we too can have a part in seeing God as a refuge. We too can be can be behind God's life and we can hold on and we can hide and, and we can be in that place of safety. Pray with me that America can see her need to get back to that place of safety. We want to be bold. We want to be wild. We want to be over the top as they say. We just want to do things that will shock people. That's what too many people are saying today. I want to do things that will bless I want to do things that will honor. I want to do things that will glorify. I want to do things that will uplift. And I want to do things that will guide people to a saving knowledge of trust and fellowship with my Lord Jesus Christ. That's what I want to do. That's what I want to do. I want to be in that place of refuge like David was, where you can know. You can know. Know God in a special way. You can know him as your Savior. You can know him as your Lord. I reminded you too, David, Jesus made reference, I believe, to this psalm. As Jesus was being cursed and slandered and put to death on the cross, slandered by those enemies in public humiliation, being crucified naked now on the cross. He prayed these words from this psalm. He says, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. And the last verse that Bonnie read there, 
verse 5 of this chapter. David said, Into thy hands, O Lord, I commit my spirit. Wasn't the same thing as Jesus was saying. Jesus was in, in finality, but as he was about to endure death on the cross for us. But the Father was the refuge for the Son. And they did want all the world to know that the Father is his refuge in all things. In your hands, Lord, I just give this all. There's a certain thing. You and I can only carry things so far. I can only carry a burden so far. Whether it's your burden or my burden or somebody else's burden, there's only so far I can carry it before it just knocks me down. And some of us have carried burdens like that. God, again, I have to give it to you, God. I have to give it to you. Pray that the heart of America can turn back to God, that we can give Him the burden. We can give Him the hurt, the pain. Whatever restitution needs to be made with whomever it is, that we can give that to God. And then together He'll heal us as a nation and bring us back together. But it starts, as we said, within this circle here with us. Revival starts within us. Do you know Jesus as you're saved? If you're watching online, do you know Him as your Lord? If you come to that place in your life, those of you watching online where you've admitted your sin, you believe that Jesus Christ died for your sins. I can't die for your sins. I can't pay enough money to cover your sins. The Bible says the wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Pastor Wendell has no, you know, nothing to do with that gift other than receiving it for himself. He's offering it to you today. And you know, if you confess your sins to him, you don't have to tell me anything. I don't want to know. God knows already. He knows your heart. Are you trusting him? Are you walking with him? Are you serving him? He wants to be your refuge today. In your personal life, in our church life, as our nation. Let's make God a refuge. Amen? Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Thank you today for your uh, kind attention. And let's see here. What do we got here? Prayer moments. Prayer moments. Alright, I've already mentioned. See back to here with our Steve Becker. We've got Roy Rule. Roy has got some some more tests and things coming up uh, this week. And he's going to get to the doctor three or four times is what Roy said yesterday this week. So let's continue to pray with him. But he uh, wanted us all to know that he's, he's feeling good. He's been out in the garden pulling weeds uh, a couple times last week. Later on, it's, it was cooler, he said. So keep growing your prayers. Keep Steve, keep Steve Becker in your prayers too. The, the heart condition and, and issues that uh, he is struggling with right now. And we praise God as Vivian's given testimony already for Larry. For him uh, coming through this stroke. And just, just wonderful order. So praise God for Vivian and for, for Larry on that. What am I missing? Yes, Chris. My brother, uh, Bill, who lives in Wisconsin, he had been in the hospital a little over a week ago, and they sent him to die, but he was loving that they knew him. He's been so sick for years. He's got disintegrating spine, he's got COPD, he's uh, got a blockage in his heart, he's got, and he's, he's ready. He's got, I'm ready. He's home in a wheelchair, and his hospital's coming. Okay, so your brother Bill in Wisconsin with everything is kind of yep. imploded on him. And he's not when he goes to the hospital. He's ready to be in the So he is officially in hospice care? Yes. Okay. So remember, remember your brother Bill Hague there in Wisconsin? Amen. Who else? Who else? Any? Yes, Carol? Jill's having a cat scan tomorrow. She's got more problems. Okay, remember. Girls needs Jill. And then we 
we've had a good streak with her here lately. Uh, let's remember her now. And then Judy, Judy, you know? Uh, yes, a couple that we used to attend church with, both um, husband and wife had COVID, um, Craig and Jan Nelson. Craig and Jan Nelson? Yes. They have COVID. And neither one is in good health. Okay. Okay, former church friends. All right, let's remember the Nelsons. And our prayers that uh, they will go down to this. Who else? Who else? Okay, any online, Kevin? John C. Becker is looking for open heart. So we pray for open heart surgery. Open heart for Steve, okay. All right, unspoken requests then. God sees your hands and your hearts. Let's uh, go to the Lord in prayer. Let's so take a moment of silent prayer. I will pray and then we'll recite the Lord's prayer before our offering. Father, we thank you for this day that you blessed us with. Thank you for the, the wonderful songs, Lord, that just echo the scriptural truths of your word that we've been able to sing. Thank you for the choices that were made today. They were particularly well picked. Follow me up with Roy Rule today. We're grateful for the opportunity to pray for this, this precious brother. And Father, we just pray your will be done in the, the testing of this next week or so that uh, we can get a plan of treatment. And uh, we just uh, give Roy the, the, the peace that. Uh, we know he has in you. We just thankful for him. We uh, uplift our brother Steve Becker, Lord, in whatever aspects of the open heart surgery, Lord, uh, uh, uncertain. We just pray that you'd uh, meet Steve at the point of his needs. We pray for him. We pray for Robin and their family. We just intervene there, Lord, and just touch him and guide him through all this uh, circumstance. Lord, we. Uh, I'm grateful for Larry, and he's home. We're thankful for Vivian, and continue to pray for Larry's recovery. Lord, we, uh, we continue to pray for Jan. We continue to pray for Bill Payne, Lord, uh, to touch him. Uh, Chris says that he's ready. He's ready when you're ready. Father, we just pray for him, for his family. It's, uh, it's never easy to lose a, lose a loved one. Pray that you just want to uplift him at this time. And Lord, we, uh, for the Nelsons, uh, Craig and Jan, uh, that the uh, friends of the Leeds house, Lord, that uh, as they fail with COVID, we give them, uh, just bring them through this, Lord. Bring them through it. I just saw the unspoken requests and the hands that were lifted. We got family members, Lord, all over the world, all over the country. Lord, some deployed in different places. We pray for all of these, as well as sons and daughters, Lord, who might be studying in school uh, all over our, our nation. God, you direct our path. It's in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God's people said together, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done. On earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. Amen. At this time, our ushers will come and receive our morning offering. If you're watching online, uh, we do appreciate it if you've got offering to give. And I'll just drop that to 1288 South Indiana Avenue, Crown Point, St. John, Houston City. Drop that in the envelope. Just mail it to us. And we'll apply your gift uh, to the ministries I'm doing here. We need your support. This has been uh, an unprecedented time. We need your help uh, in as many areas as we can spiritually, financially, emotionally. We need the Lord to be in each other.
online, we, we thank you for those in advance as well. Guide our hearts and us safe and well. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you. All right. Uh, last but not least, uh, we've got uh, yeah, quite an assortment set up downstairs, folks, so uh, you will be blessed with <laughs> eating down there today. Uh, this is almost as tongue in cheek as yours was, and all from the uh, the opposite side. The next song, there is sunshine in my soul today. Well, that's the only place that it is, right? Because it's certainly not outside. Sunshine in my soul today, page 345. Let's do one and four. Well, in your service. <laughs>